What is going on guys? Welcome, Friday is finally here, super excited. Now tonight I wanna to talk to you guys about PPC campaigns and why are they important in product launch and at what stage we're gonna launch it so that we get the maximum impact out of it. Now again, just to do a recap for the past five videos we've been doing, we've talked about the listing itself, which is the pictures, the description, the title, the SEO and everything. We've talked about reviews, we've talked about social proof, we've talked about sales velocity, and we have talked about giveaways and coupons. If you guys have missed those videos, I'm gonna post the links below, so make sure you check them out. I'm gonna put them in end screens as well, so you will see that stuff in there. Now, PPC campaigns are a crucial part of your marketing campaign or advertising campaign when you launch your product. Do we do it right away with our launch? No. PPC is very important to understand at what stage it has to kick in, right? First of all, PPC is only valuable when you have built a little bit of sales velocity. We've talked about reviews and I've told you guys how to get reviews, right? We've talked about the five unverified, five verified reviews that you need to get through your pals on Facebook groups, Amazon Facebook groups. So that's how you get those reviews and once you have those reviews now we're not going to get into too much detail with those but once you have those initial reviews then you're ready for giveaways and coupons and that's just going to increase your sales and then we simultaneously what we do is attach our advertising campaign which is our ppc pay-per-click campaign we're going to attach it to our program or to our listing so that it gives it the maximum impact and boost that we need. And from there, it's just going to skyrocket and it's going to shoot you guys to page one. And then one thing leads to another. It's a chain reaction and you're going to gain a lot of customers this way. You're going to get a lot of units sold every day and that's how you'll make money. PPC is very important to understand um, the nature of it, right? you have to understand that Amazon gives priority to PPC campaigns where they're spending the most dollars. Therefore, in the beginning, you're gonna set your dollar value or pay per click, right? Value to a high amount. I normally like to set it up at $1.50. I don't wanna do like 50 cents, I don't wanna do $1 or anything like that because I want Amazon, I wanna let Amazon know that, hey, I'm willing to spend the money, push my content out push my product out, let, the, let it get clicked, like basically uh, uh, make it appear in searches. The other thing that's important with PPC campaigns is how to do the keywords or the SEO for it, right? Because PPC is basically essentially what it is, is detects certain words that you've inserted in the data bank, right, of your PPC campaign if those words or key phrases are searched, it's gonna pop up your product and then if somebody clicks it, it charges you that dollar value, right? So you have a daily spend, you can say, okay, I want, I'm paying you $1.50 per day and I want you to cap it at $100 or $50, what have you. So you can actually set your daily budget. So if it goes, if it reaches that, uh, that uh, basically that amount, it is not gonna charge you anymore. It's gonna stop pushing your, uh, it's gonna stop pushing your product. I try to not really put a low, uh, a low, um, what do you call, like a threshold for it. When I first start my PPC, I like to go a few hundred dollars just so give it that extra boost and see if it really makes a difference. And that's how you'll get it with the giveaways, with the coupons and the PPC together and you've already built your sales velocity and you have some initial reviews, it is gonna be a powerful tool for you guys to really push it to the next level. So PPC, how do we get the keywords that we need, right, in order to build a really search engine optimized PPC campaign? Merchant words comes into play, guys. I've shown you guys this before, but I'm showing you guys again. We're gonna do, we're gonna jump into my computer and we're gonna do a quick, a quick tutorial on how to find those marketable words, those words that are being searched for in your category and how we can use it to our benefit in our PPC campaign. Because essentially, it's search engine optimization. All it is is certain tags and phrases that you need to know, right? You can just put in like if you're selling a teddy bear, like brown teddy bear or um, whatever, right? Just random keywords off the top of your head. Although some of those are really searched words, but you wanna make sure. 
Merchant Words is a tool that allows you to do that, that allows you to really search marketable keywords that are being searched around the world in that category based on the volume that they're searched. And we're going to choose the top 100 guys. Okay. So that tutorial is right going to come in the next 15 seconds. Um, but for now, I just want you guys to wrap your mind around PPC campaign and get ready for this tutorial. If you haven't watched my other videos on PPC, there is another video that I've done. I'm going to post all the links to previous videos and also the other videos of product listing. So if you missed anything, you're not missing out. It's all in here. Okay. So let's jump right into my computer. All right, guys, welcome back. Now, uh, like I said, we're going to create this powerful PPC campaign that is going to take data from um, databases that people actually search for. So what we want to do is find keywords that are like with the highest search volume for our product. And I'm going to show you guys how to find those keywords. And we're going to use the top 100 because that's what Amazon really uses. It doesn't use anything more than that. So let's get right into it. I'm going to show you guys two ways. One of them, which I'm going to use. The second way is, a, is an option, but um, I'm going to walk you guys through it, but I'm not going to use the keywords from that just because it's a little bit broad. It's not that targeted and I like to get very targeted with these things. So let's start. So the first thing we're going to do is um, I'm going to search for keywords that I use. So uh, like if you guys remember, I was searching for baby dolls and what I want to do is search at least three lists around the baby doll category so what we're gonna do is go to merchant words uh, and I've shown you guys uh, how to get a subscription for this there's a link in the description which is gonna give you guys uh, over 70 uh, 70 percent off on this product so you're only getting it for nine dollars a month it's very powerful I highly suggest you guys use this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in to Merchant Words and I am going to search for three categories um, that revolves around my product. So I know I'm selling a baby doll. So that's the first one I'm going to search. So baby doll is the first category I'm going to search. All right. So let's see what comes up. All right. All right. Here you go. So you guys can see that uh, we have a high... Uh, search volume for a lot of these like baby doll is searched over a million and 73,000 times in a month so these are monthly search volumes keep that in mind so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, basically download that in a CSV okay you guys see it's right here now the second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna search another keyword that revolves around that so baby doll is also a toy so what I'm going to do is search for baby toys. All right. Toys. Just because I know that category, like people search uh, dolls and stuff in that category as well. So I'm going to get that as well. So let's, you guys can see that baby toys are searched over 1.2 million times. And then you have different variations of it. So I'm going to, download that in a CSV as well it's right here so we're gonna save that for now and then I like to do one more thing um, I would like to do toys uh, notice you guys see like that it's it all revolves around the word toys or doll and stuff like that so you want to be broad enough but not too broad that it gets out of the category like I'm not gonna search for like a baby bottle when I'm searching for a toy uh, I hope that clarifies it for you guys. So I'm gonna, the next thing I'm gonna search is toys, okay? Because that falls under the category and um, I wanna see what kind of keywords show up under that as well. So, and we're gonna compile this into a master list. Uh, so you have dog toys, car toys. Um, so let's, you know what, let's not use toys. Let's use, um, Hmm. So let's say toys. Let's do baby girl toys. So, so we know a doll is mostly for a girl. So let's see baby girl toys. Okay. Toys for baby girls. Okay. Not too many, not too many keywords. All right. So let me think of another category I could search for. Let's just do dolls actually. Let's just do instead of um, 
making it too complicated doll let's see what comes up and the point is to get the kind of keywords that you know people will search for and they will be able to find your products so here you go guys so this is good because doll kind of covers the whole thing so let's turn that into a CSV as well where did my CSV link go what did I do here oh here all right sorry guys I kind of got mesmerized for a second all right so we got all three lists in the bottom so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go open show them all in folder so you'll see these are my three lists okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up each one okay open with Excel all right once one opens I'm gonna open the next one open that with Excel as well okay you'll notice that I have another file open because that's gonna be our master list and let's go that's one of my products expiring okay let's open the third one as well all right so okay so let's compile everything into our master list so I've opened up here a master list let's go file I want a brand new document blank create okay perfect so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take data from everywhere so I'm gonna just go let's see how many keywords 250 here control C and then I'm gonna go to my master list and paste that okay gotta go to second file I'm just getting the keywords not the titles anymore 251 here too so I just want to make sure okay okay I'm just gonna paste that in the bottom all right and then we're gonna go to the bottom of this and we're gonna paste our third list which is right here just getting the keywords guys not the titles Okay, 251 all right so I'm gonna paste it here all right so now this is our master list of basically 750 keywords uh, that we can rank for so um, what I would like to do is next is we don't need the seasonality or evergreen so let's remove that so we don't um, we don't get confused with this so these are your monthly search volumes let me change the title so that it's easier to explain monthly search volume so what that means is that specific keyword has been searched this many times in one month and that's why merchant is so powerful so uh, I'm gonna do a filter on this quickly all right I don't need these two okay so what we want to do now is rank the keywords so first of all let's actually remove duplicates because that's really important so let me what we're gonna do is quickly go over there is a faster way to do it where is it data 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 remove duplicates okay so from which column you want to remove you want to remove from the phrase so let's remove duplicates okay 27 duplicates were found and removed okay so our duplicates are gone reason you don't want to leave duplicates because Amazon is not gonna search your duplicate word like it's just a waste of space basically and Amazon only only really looks at your first hundred keywords when it's ranking sorry I'm um, um, when it's ranking your product uh, with their PPC campaign so you don't want to go over hundred and uh, basically having duplicates in there those 27 could potentially be other keywords that we could rank for so that's why we remove duplicates okay so now we're gonna do is you are gonna take I'm gonna highlight the first hundred keyword no sorry missed a step so now we're gonna filter this from largest to smallest based on monthly search volume all right and now you'll see that these keywords are the top searched keywords in those categories that's why it's so powerful so I'm just gonna highlight the first hundred because that's all we really need okay 
Let's just go and highlight that so we know what we're using. So these are the keywords that we're going to use for our PPC campaign. Now, there is another way to get some um, keywords for your PPC campaign too. Uh, let me go over it quickly, just so you guys know it's an option, but I'm not going to use those keywords, okay? And I'll tell you guys why after. So what you do is basically find the product that you're looking for. So I searched the toy that I was going to sell. Um, and um, But what I want to do now is find out what keywords are being used with this listing in its in that listings PPC campaign that is ranking for okay sounds sounds really good at first right it is really good and if you want to get that really that targeted so now what you're gonna do is so how can you see the keywords there is a product called keyword inspector okay and it's a subscription based tool right here it is All right, so I'm just gonna load that up. Let's go back to our Amazon. So what the way we can find out what the keywords that this product is ranking for is, is to find the ASIN number, ASIN number. So ASIN number really starts with B00 and then the numbers after it. So right here on top in the search, or sorry, in the, um, um, I'm forgetting the word, but like in the address bar. So what we're gonna do is copy that. So I'm just gonna do Control C. We go to Keyword Inspector and we're going to click on Reverse ASIN Search. So that's how you can reverse it and by ASIN you can actually find out what keywords are being used with that listing. Reason I chose that listing is because it was the number one organically searched, um, organically searched listing on Amazon which means that it was not sponsored for some reason Amazon thought that this seller should be number one um, it probably is not doing any uh, sponsored basically like PPC campaigns or anything like that so there is something that he's doing right or he she whoever the seller is and that's why we wanted to look into that so what you do is get current keyword count for ASIN so you can do that here or I'm just gonna type in the ASIN number here and then you're just gonna name your group and if you have the subscription it basically asks you to submit and then it will open up a CSV for you with all specific keywords that are used for this specific listing in the background okay so it'll populate all the keywords that are used for this listing now the reason I don't like to do this is because what about if I search baby doll again right so of course this is one of the top ones but what about the rest of the products like you know like um, if I want to do it this way I would like to do at least the first 10 or 15 um, products uh, to see how they're ranking get their keywords and then um, sort it based on their search volume just like we did with Merchant Words but it's a little bit more uh, labor intensive and it's um, I, I think it kind of gets lost in translation so that's why I don't want to do that I just want to stick to Merchant Words because they gave me that specific data anyways so why would I go back and kind of duplicate my efforts right so let's forget about that but that's another way that you can actually search for keywords as well so um, now with our merchant words we've created a list this is our master list and you're gonna copy and you're gonna go to your Amazon seller account and the create a PPC campaign okay so let me just take a look at this quick okay all right so those are the words let me just see what kind of words are there all right so you copy that and then you go to your Amazon sellers account and you create a campaign you'll title it basically um, based on the name of the product you're selling and you are gonna set your daily budget for hundred dollars and plus the reason we do hundred dollars and plus and you may not use your entire hundred dollars per day is because we want to let Amazon know that we're serious about this and we really want to spend the money now it's just a way to trick Amazon you'll never use your hundred dollars completely but it kind of gives you priority with Amazon's PPC campaigns so it says okay I can Amazon is basically trying to make money too right so what they're gonna do is say okay I can make more money from this listing because 
uh, is providing me more PPC campaign dollars. So let me push that ahead of other people. So that's how you can trick the Amazon's algorithm to, in, to thinking that you're going to actually pay more for uh, your advertising. So therefore, you should have priority or prefer, prefer or to be a preferred client. So that's why we push it to um, hundred dollars. And you always want to make sure you choose manual targeting. Why? Because we don't want to do automatic campaigns. Automatic campaigns chooses words based on what Amazon recommends. We have already done the backend search and we've chosen our hundred words or phrases right here that we're going to use for our PPC campaign. So that's why we do manual targeting. And then there are three things that um, uh, you can choose when you're actually putting your manual targeting. How would you like these words to be searched or how would you like these words to be connected according to the search volume that you'll get on your Amazon listing? The first one is broad. Broad really means like um, if somebody searches, let's say, um, um, Star Wars memorabilia, memorabilia, I can't even pronounce that word. And then um, it will also pop up your listing if somebody searches for Kyle Loren or um, Han Solo. You know what I mean? Like it's a little bit broad, so it's a little bit vague, but you want to get a little bit targeting. The second option is phrase. Phrase is basically, um, it uses phrases. So if your phrases, um, let's choose one of these, like baby toys, right? This is one of your phrases. So it could be um, large baby toys, or it could be like a red baby toy or baby toy doll. You know what I mean? So as long as your keywords are within that phrase, it is gonna uh, is gonna basically pop up your listing for that buyer, uh, so they can click on it. So that's why we always always want to make sure we choose phrase, just because not only it will use our keywords, it will also do a variation. It will also pop up our listing based on the variations that people search. The third one is exact. We never want to do exact because nobody really knows if these keywords will be exactly searched the same way again you know what i mean even though the search volume is there we know that but we want to make sure we have a little bit of wiggle room in case somebody makes a spelling mistake or in case somebody adds a second word to it or a third word to it we still want to be we still want to make sure we appear on their search so that's why we always go with phrase all right so let me just make sure i don't forget anything else so again we take the first hundred keywords and we set uh, our default bid to 75, I mean, the Amazon recommends to 75 cents, but I always like to go $1.50. Again, we're trying to trick the Amazon algorithm, thinking that we're gonna be a high roller, and therefore you should push our product or our listing uh, higher in the ranking. And that's how you do it. Like you just kind of trick the Amazon algorithm. So always, always put it to 150 and choose all keywords and apply suggested bids to all of them so if you're doing 150 per keyword make sure you apply it to the entire list and then increase it by three percent why we do that because we want to be ahead of our competition if our competition is doing a dollar fifty or whatever amazon is suggesting the highest is we want to be a little bit tad above it so that we are ahead of our competition you see guys, they, these little things can make a huge difference in your PPC campaign. So that's it guys. And um, from there on, always uh, take a look at your analytics, see what's working, what's not working, and go from there and modify things from there. I hope this really helped you guys. I know it's a powerful technique. I know there's a lot of things to watch for. Uh, and that's why if you are forgetting something, drop your comment below. Ask me if you have any specific questions about PPC campaigns and I'll be happy to help you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful weekend.